Is the band getting married to Steph London? Pretty Mike shows up and shows out at a Nigerian wedding and the band and his wife welcome a bouncing baby boy. You're welcome to Nollywood Alliance Entertainment News Roundup and I'm your girl Faith. You know I bring to you the gist, the drama and all the news in the lives of your faves. Why? Because we entertain better and that is why we do it. Yes honey, that's how stars do. Alright, let's get this ball rolling. Alright, so news making headlines right now is that African sensation Burner Boy and British rapper Steph London have taken their relationship to the next level. In some posts on Instagram, Steph London posted pictures of her with an engagement ring holding a man's hand that is most likely Burner Boy. And we also remember that in a previous interview, Burner Boy shared his, shared his feelings for Steph London and how he would love to raise children with her. This is so beautiful. I want to start saying congratulations, but I want the official announcement to come out so that we can start planning Nigerian wedding, Ashwe B, Gili, food and, <laughs> and everything. I mean, what you guys really think? This is just really exciting. You hear wedding bells? Well, I do. Alright, let's move on. Controversial Nigerian socialite and entrepreneur Pretty Mike is well known for making grand but actually weird entrances at, the, at any event, be it a wedding, be it a naming ceremony, be it the launch of an event, whatever it is he always likes to steal the show steal all of the attention i mean he has done it all or rather with thought he has done it all recently at a friend's wedding he showed up with five other brides okay by brides i mean like he showed up with five women dressed as actual brides to the wedding and on the dance floor he actually danced with these five women what do you guys think i mean we all know that pretty mike has done the most so as a groom or as a bride you let a friend of yours come to your wedding with five extra brides Please, this is really, really tricky and controversial. I need to know what you guys think. So please drop your comments in the comment section below so I can know your opinions. And I'm open to opinions, really. Let me know what you think about this whole situation. Coco Master and his wife, Linio, welcomes a bouncing baby boy. If we remember about 15 months ago, they lost their only son, who was a little bit over a year old, in a swimming accident in their home in Ekoi, and the tragic incident had everyone shook. Now, a month ago, um, the band had an interview with Beat FM London and he said that he is going to be a father soon. And now the baby is here. I mean, what else can we say? We're so happy and so delighted to have this good news, although the news is still reported. It hasn't been confirmed yet by the band, his wife, or any of the family members. And you know, a big congratulations to the family from all of us here at Nollywood Alive. We say a big, big congratulations. Phenomenal music producer and Maven Records boss Don Jazzy posted a tremendous tweet on Instagram saying, Today makes it one year since I stopped smoking. Please clap for me. Yay! This is actually just really, really good. I mean, a lot of people have been putting up challenges for themselves pushing themselves for that to become better people. I mean, we have, okay, a workout routine for one month, no soda for one month. And people are doing absolutely fine and fantastic. And this is just really, really good and also a good inspiration. In fact, one of his fans commented on that post saying that, please, how did you do it? Just asking for a friend. And he said, I just started like that though. Although you will eat a lot once you start, but after two months you'll be all right so yeah you'll be all right congratulations to don jazzy cheers to more nicotine free days ahead <laughs> idris okuneye aka bob risky had some inspirational quotes to share on her instagram page to her fans you know talking about all of her accomplishments bob risky has had her own share of ups and downs as we know that her birthday party was raided a while ago and also the recent fallout between her and the director general of the ntac chief olushegun rusewe a lot of people have come out to say that you know the director general is stepping out of his role by threatening the life of a citizen who has committed no crime at all so yeah congratulations to Bob Risky and as she has said it's never too late to pick up the pen it's never too late for you to start 
realizing that goal realizing that idea there's no late comma to success all right now still talking on bob risky she recently posted on instagram a picture of a new iphone 11 and a receipt bought for him by his best friend to to dk now we know that these two have been besties for a while please i need to ask everybody a serious question who who is your best friend you have to you have to now you have to start scanning you know the relationships that you have whether they are profitable to you or not i mean this is this is someone's best friend i mean all know that the iphone 11 just came out a few days ago so that it is still fresh and the phone sells for i think six hundred thousand naira that is a lot of money to everyone out there keep pushing you never know your success could just be around the corner okay guys now do we all remember the popular music duo from the 90s damper drivers yes all right well sadly a member of the duo mad melon has been reported dead in a video on instagram music veteran daddy shoki posted and commented saying that he this really really shook and like, can someone tell him that this is not happening and he also complained about that the timing was absolutely wrong you know although there hasn't been any reports as to the cause of the death some reports are stating that it was due to illness the artist was out of the limelight for a while but he came back when he and his partner mountain black accused techno of plagiarism in his song Bolongo but the trio reconciled in May 2018 now there have been several comments from fans and critics talking about how he lived a life a, a life and left legacies ace comedian Bovi celebrates his 30th birthday recently and his wife and himself decided to do a prank series just before the birthday party now in the first episode they have there's a friend of his called Mohammed in the series and Mohammed was able to keep the bro code now in the other episode Chris his wife decided to engage Frida Francis and Anne Obaseki now Chris is seen calling Frida to ask for the whereabouts of her boo Bovi now Frida is torn between her loyalty to her friend and honesty so she just fakes bad network and ends the call I mean this prank series has been completely hilarious in fact during Bovi's birthday a lot of his friends came for him that ah he broke the bro code and you know he just divulged all of their secrets out there in the open but yeah you know it's good we could always learn a thing or two and this just shows that Bobby and his wife are so cute together oh my god I can imagine how much comedy or how much laughter they have in it you know couple goals basically for those of us that are still single and searching all right okay so congratulations to Bobby on his 40th birthday many many more years <laughs> funny stories today on the news roundup and sadly we have come to the end of the show that is all i have for you this week we'll be back next week with more interesting and intriguing stories happening in the nigerian industry all right for more information please visit our website at www.nollywoodalive.com and follow us on all our social media platforms on instagram we are at nollywood alive on twitter at nollywood alive on facebook please like our page at nollywood alive on youtube we are at nollywood a live TV so like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated when we have new content like our top 10 songs and top 10 movies for you up on the channel so let's see you again my name is Faith and this is Nollywood Alive Entertainment News Roundup Audio Jungle